Our barn owl pair, Finn and Gilfie, have got two tiny chicks in the elm stump nest. It's so great to see these young owlets grow. And it's even more amazing because Finn is a first time dad. But nature can be cruel at times. Let's go back to see the story unfold. It's the beginning of May and after months of courtship, Gilfie seems to be ready to lay. For her mate Finn, this is all new. At only two years old, this is his first breeding season. He had a shaky start, but he's now becoming a devoted partner. During courtship, he needs to prove he can provide for his future family, and he's doing a great job. Once she's had her food delivery, they're ready to mate again. Mating is a way that the barn owls create a strong pair bond. And this is vital to bring up chicks together successfully. Soon Gilfie reforms the nest scrape and spends long periods of time sitting. All signs she's ready to lay. A few days later, a heavy breathing confirms my suspicions. And she reveals her first egg. She starts to incubate straight away. In between now and hatching, she'll rarely move from this position. Finn arrives with food for his mate. He's taking his job very seriously. Gilf is quick to make the most of this food. Laying an egg is hard work. It's lovely to see how devoted Finn is to his mate. but he's still a bit clumsy. This is all new to the young male. Gilfie stands up to reveal her egg and naturally Finn is curious. Finn checks it over with his beak and wonders if he should brood it himself. Gilfie steps in and pushes Finn out of the way, incubating his best left to the experts. Barn owls lay eggs every two to three days. And as if on cue, I can see Gilfie breathing heavily again. She lifts up, thinking she's laid a second egg. but it's nowhere to be seen. As she turns, the egg drops out, somewhat unconventionally. Finn returns later and gazes down at this second egg. Gilfie gently nuzzles him away and returns to brooding. Over the next few days, he rarely leaves her side. He's so protective of Gilfie and the eggs. Soon a third is revealed, completing the clutch. Over the next month, Gilfie spends most of her time incubating. Only leaving the eggs for the occasional preen and stretch. And to answer the call of nature. Meanwhile, Finn is a real trooper. He's working hard, bringing in food around the clock and spending his days standing guard over Gilfie and the eggs. But there's unwanted attention around the nest. The barn owls must be vigilant.
Nearby, tawny owls are roosting and they're highly territorial. Night after night, the pair endure a barrage of attacks. And to make matters worse, Gilfy knocks Finn from the nest, giving the Tawnies another opportunity. But thankfully they keep the Tawny Owls at bay and no harm comes to the eggs. Soon they're ready to hatch. Gilfy stands to reveal a huge crack in the first egg. I can even hear the tiny chick cheeping. Gilfy lends a helping hand, removing part of the eggshell. And Finn watches on in amazement. After 31 days of incubation, the first egg is hatched. Finn stays close to his mate, Prinina, and is intrigued by the empty eggshell. Barn owl eggs hatch at the same interval they were laid, so three days later a second chick is revealed. And the final chick follows three days after. This barn owl family is now complete. Finn brings in food constantly, but competition between his chicks is fierce. And the youngest is lagging behind. It's a lot smaller than its siblings, and when Gilfy tries to feed it, it just won't take it. Overnight it crawls away from the warmth of its siblings and Gilfy doesn't seem to realise. At this age, chicks need constant brooding to keep them warm. And by the time Gilfy notices the lone chick, I sense it could be too late. By morning, the chick has died. Nature can be cruel at times. Thankfully, the two remaining chicks are growing well. Finn and Gilfy now have one less mouth to feed, so these owlets now have a better chance of survival. It's going to be amazing to watch this barn owl family develop, and I can't wait to see how Finn steps up to this new challenge. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.